did it here we are in week five of our finish strong series how are you doing do you realize very soon you'll be halfway through the process and i also hope that you can stop and see how far you've come i rendered at this stage in the process you have clarity you know clearly what it takes what goal achieve means to you you have a plan to make that happen you crafted it in week three and last week you took the pause to look and collect the mini wins you got a lot of reasons to be proud and happy for the progress you've made in week five we will focus on how to amplify key action like the first strategy on the plan you identified in week three Again, as I did last time, I put the links to all the video. If you've not watched them, go and watch them step by step. So in week three, you created an action plan with top three actions and then the activities, who does what by when for each of the activities identified. And in this week, we focus on action, action, action to move key strategy number one. So let's dive in. Can I get that PowerPoint to come up here? Yes. So yeah, essentially we want to find ways to amplify the key action for this week. So you identify various strategies and in this week five, are there ways to improve, to even make it better? And we will do as usual, as you know, as we do in, in the, the, the strong series, there's a focus, just one thing, one focus, one question, one reflection and just one action. So the one focus for this is amplifying. You have strategy, there's one action that you need to, you can take. There's one big one, the key, the most important one that will get you the results you need. And we want to stop today and reflect, how can we even do that better, bigger? So it's all about amplification. And uh, yeah, essentially focusing on the key action from your plan, identify in week three and ways to make it bigger. And the, um, yeah, it's all about making, maybe it seems like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> it's fine, Judith. So the focus essentially is how can I get that action? How can I make it happen? How can I take that action and get the biggest impact possible? Yeah, you may think, okay, Judith, how did you make that happen? How do you amplify? We have an action. The action could be, I don't know, make that calls depending on your goal. Like goals are different. Uh, some of you working with me, sales, uh, delivering that app, creating that e-course, starting that business. You know what is the specific key action one that you have. But there was one big strategic one. So as you think about creating that course, developing, asking for help, networking. How can you even amplify that? What could that look like? Um, I'll offer the question, the question to help you find ways to amplify is, yeah, how can I amplify the impact on this? It, it, it may sound simple, basic, but look below. Are there opportunities for refinement and improvement? refinement improvement how can i make it even bigger better maybe this week the key action i want to take an example to make it concrete and practical if you're working on growing your net networking and one key action you think uh being able i don't know to talk to that senior leader will make things different for your goal hey one way to make it bigger are there more than one are there other leaders at that level? Are there other people in your network that you interact with? Now you're making it big. It's not just one, it's now three. And that's the reflection. Same for if your action is, okay, calling the partner, stakeholder management. Oh, and then the action is to set one meeting. Are there other stakeholders that you can bring in? And that's the idea. I have this thing to make happen. I have to create the slides for my course. Okay, uh, the action is to create the slides. Are there some things I can duplicate? Are there some elements of my slide that I can reuse? You are amplifying things that will help you achieve your goal. So my point, what I really simply, what I simply want you to think about this week as I'm taking the action for the key strategy number one. 
can I improve it? How can I make it bigger? As you stay with that mindset, as I like to say, if that is your intention, your brain will show you how, it will give you ideas. Hey, you could also reuse this. You could also just ask yourself the question. I'll bring back the question. In what ways can I amplify? What opportunities to refine, to make you to improve? As you keep that in mind, you will see by yourself. Yeah, and the reflection, you know, focus, question, reflection, and then the action. The reflection essentially is, and this reflection, you will help you find strategies to amplify, to amplify your impact. So how does the key action you're taking this week, that key strategy fits into the bigger picture, the goal that you want to make happen between now and say the next eight or uh, seven or six weeks? How does creating the slide, making the call, meeting that senior leader impact the bigger goal? As you start to reflect, hmm, you might find ways to amplify the impact. And again, what can be improved? What can I, what, what can be adjusted? What can, what can I do to have even better results? What can make your effort more efficient? These are some questions to help you identify ways to amplify, to deepen the impact of whatever you have planned this week. So if you want, maybe I'll disappear so that you can capture the screen and get the questions and keep them. I love questions because they, they get my brain working and they bring results. So I'm offering, I'm sharing <laughs> some strategies that could help. If you want to capture the screen, you can do it now. Yeah, these are some questions that can help guide the reflection. After the reflection, it's action, guys. Action, action, action. I think I said it, Um, was it last week? Yeah, um, last week or week three. After the plan, now it's just action. It's in the action that transformation happens. It's in the action that you can see results. It's in action that you see movement. You can craft a wonderful plan, but if it stays a plan, it's just a plan. The goal will not be achieved. For you to move from point B to point, from point A to point B, it takes action, 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 action. So this week and all for the next four weeks, just think action, action, action. I even feel like asking you, I don't know what does your routine look like? Um, if you're someone who does gratitude, as you stop to think about, oh, how was my day? Can you add one question? What action did I do today to move my goal forward? action guys it's action time so every day I, I think i said it every day this week take one action to move towards your goal and focus on that key strategy one this week so once take just action and i also want to talk about the importance of tracking the actions and the progress and staying committed that's why i was saying um Find an easy way to infuse. It doesn't have to be long. Five minutes. What have I done today to move that goal forward? What can I, if you do it early in the morning, I'll talk about gratitude because I believe in the power of gratitude. It's something infused in my habit. Some people do it in the morning. If you are a morning habit person, so when you do your gratitude in the morning, Maybe tied to that, what is one action I can do to move my goal forward? That's the intention. Hmm, today, I, you know how your day will go, which pace, when. So what is the one action I will do today to move forward my goal? Write it down, do it. And maybe if you also do gratitude in the evening, what have I done? It's time to talk time to take a pause and look at how was your day did i do some things to move forward my goal the daily checkup will allow you to sort of realize am i actually moving and stopping to look at what you did can make you realize yes i did something you're going you're doing you're making progress go 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 warrior just keep it going and if when you do your checkup in the evening, you did nothing. Wow, the day was busy, like life happened. 
the next question is what can I put in place so that tomorrow I'm not in the same place like today. This pause to check how I did with my intention is good because it'll make you realize it'll get make you get more like intentional. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like repetition, but you need to get intentional with this. If for example you realize that oh Oh, the day went over. I didn't do anything as planned. What can I do? So that is different tomorrow. What am I doing by when? And block that time on your agenda. It becomes a priority. Imagine you have plans for the key strategic action. And by Tuesday, you do your checkers. You've done nothing. Hey, the week is soon over and you've done nothing to move the key strategy. By Tuesday evening, you block time on your agenda. Movement. Movement. And if you've been moving things today, Monday, Tuesday, hey, you can even go beyond. Joy, if by Wednesday or Thursday, goal for the week achieved. Yeah, how can you take some move ahead with what is reserved for next week? Action, action, action is the key word. So, I want to do a quick recap. Judith went again into speaking too much. <laughs> I hope you'll be patient with me, but I really want you to do this and see by yourself that you can really achieve your goals. Whatever you set your heart to do in three months, focus, intention, and following up will get you there. So, um, yeah just one mini one little thing and when you notice when you do that checking and you notice oh i i have planned to do this and i did celebrate good job girl keep it going consistency and action action is the mode of action just action action yeah what have i done today even just this one question if you take it on a daily basis what have i done and you check on yourself you write down, you, you you take action next day. What have I done today? You will see like when we, we, we follow up next week. Wow, I got a lot done. I had this meeting. I had this talk. This is the way forward. My slides are ready. I recorded. I connected and things are better with my stakeholder. You will see you are in action and you're making progress. A quick recap for this week. Full. Um... The focus essentially was to find ways to amplify the impact of your key action. How can I amplify it? Because it's action time. Now, how can I even take action having better impact? That's the focus. The question, what ways to amplify? And as you do the reflection, what can be, do, what can be done to improve the action, to have an even better result? What adjustment? How can I leverage what I'm doing this week so that it affects my bigger goal even bigger? Ask the question and the brain will help you find the answer. And finally, action, 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 time. Whatever comes to mind to amplify that uh, key action, just go for it. Mini action, celebrate results, keep going, try the progress i did this what outcome i did this what outcome as you keep in action you will see by yourself that you are making progress that was it um for week five in our finish strong series this series where in 12 weeks we hold on we keep resilient and keep pushing to finish the year well i really want to say thank you and say congrats for keep it till week five in the series it's not a time to drop action let's keep moving and let's finish strong together i'm looking forward to check how you did in our next uh, week session it was a pleasure all the best for the week action 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 guys take care